All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 19. And in this lesson, kind of feels like we're taking a step backwards because in lesson 18, we were doing the standard algorithm. And then all of a sudden, in this lesson, we're going to be kind of using the place value disks again. But the point of this is we don't want students just to be memorizing a standard algorithm. At all times, we want that algorithm, each step of the algorithm, to have meaning. And that's what this lesson is about, is to make sure that the students are retaining what all of this division stuff means. So when you divide 86 by 4, there's a remainder of 2. We want to model this problem using place value disks. And then we're supposed to talk about what each of those portions of that place value disk, what does it mean in terms of the standard algorithm? So we're going to begin by modeling. Here's our tens place, and here's our ones place. So let's model 86. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've just modeled 86, and we're going to be dividing this by 4. And what that means is we're going to need a little bit of space here, but that means we're going to need four groups. 1, 2, 3, 4. So they're down below here. Here's our four groups. And when we're doing 86 divided by 4, let's do that right here. 86 divided by 4. Okay. Now, first thing we're going to do is when we divide by 4, it means we're going to take each of whoa, we're going to take each of these dots and sort it into the four groups down below. So that's going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we put 2 in each group. So over here in our standard algorithm, so we see that we had 8 tens divided by 4 groups means there's 2 in each group. So 2 times 4 is 8. So we've used up all 8 of our tens. We have no tens left over. And so now, over here in our standard algorithm, we have six ones left over. And we're going to sort those into our four groups. One, two, three, four. And we have two left over. So we have one, two, three, four. We have this one left over and this one left over. So how is that going to look in our standard algorithm? Well, you have six ones divided amongst four groups. So each group is going to get one dot. You have two dots left over, so our answer is 21 remainder 2. So the question, going all the way back to the top, says model this problem with place value disks, and in the place value disk, how can you see that there is a remainder? So where do we see our remainder in our place value disk? It's right here. There's our two remainders, our remainder of 2. So here it says, Francine says that 86 divided by 4 is 20 with a remainder of 6. And she says this because, you know, if you have, let's see, 86 divided by 4, and you get the answer of, she says, 20 remainder 6. Boy, and if you check it, sure enough, 20 times 4 is 80. Then you add in your remainder of 6, and you get 86. Boy, that looks like we did it correctly, because we end up with the 86 that we started with. So what's wrong? What's wrong with that? Well, when we use our place value disks, if you have a remainder of 6, but you have 4 groups, well, this means you have enough dots to give each group one more dot. And that means her answer is incorrect as written. The idea is your remainder always has to be less than what you're dividing by. Otherwise, you can go and continue handing out extra dots to each of the four groups. If we want to take a look at that, let's, uh, let's copy and paste from the previous slide. And then when we take that place value chart from the previous slide, 
you end up seeing that you should have two remainders because if you have more than four remainders, you can take those dots and you can sort them into a, uh, the groups again. You always need to have a, a remainder that's less than the number of groups you have. Now here, it says the place value disk model is showing 67 divided by 4, and you can see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's our 67, and you can see divided by 4 here. Now, they ask, they're asking us to complete the model and explain what happens to those 10s. Well, the idea is you've got this 10, and we need to cash it in for 10 ones. So that 10 gets to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that 10 caches in for 10 ones. And then similarly, this 10 right here gets cached in for 10 ones. And there you go. So now in the ones place, we end up with 10, 20, plus 7. So we end up with 27 in our ones place. And if we want to complete the model, so how many dots does each group get? If you have 27 dots and you're supposed to sort it amongst four groups, well, let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Ooh, we can't quite finish that last group now, can we? So that last group isn't really there. Those are, are our leftovers. So how many does each group get? Each group gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, so we end up with a 10 plus 6. So that's a 10 plus 6 in each group. And we ended up with these three leftovers. Because really, um, how many dots did we use here? Well, we did four groups of 6. So that's 24. So that means we used all 20 down here. Plus we used 1, 2, 3, 4. So here's the three that we had left over which can also be seen down here because I kind of got excited with my counting and I kept going even though I didn't have enough dots to pass out one to each group. So our answer is 16, remainder 3. The big deal with this question is they're asking, well, what happens to these two tens in the tens column? Well, they get cashed in for ones. And that wraps up 4th grade module 3 lesson 19 where we are kind of taking a, a little bit of a step back using models again just to make sure we understand each step of the standard algorithm.